All right, today we have a quick little tutorial on how to center this little footer bar here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to show you how to do the CSS for it. So I'm not going to just give the code in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how I go about getting the proper code to implement to the CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm in Chrome right now, but you can do this in other, um, in other browsers as well. So you right click on whatever you're doing. Uh, whichever element you're trying to change. So this whole thing here I'm trying to change, so I'm going to right click, press inspect. It is now going to come up with this footer info and we're looking for something that says float. So this footer info right here, this is the one that we want to change. So we're going to change float to none and we're going to text align center. And now that center align this text. Now what we're going to do is grab this, press control C or command C and go over to a CSS editor. So you can either go into the Divi CSS editor, which is down here on the main page, the theme options. But I like to do it in a different plugin, which is called Custom CSS and JS. It's for free on the WordPress store or uh, the plugin store. And just press Add CSS. And I'm going to call this navigation. Delete all that and get rid of the color and padding. Press publish. Now we go back over here. Now it's going to be centered. Hopefully. And yeah, it's centered. Now what we're going to try to do now is put these social icons above here because this isn't looking so good anymore. So we're going to grab this float right. We're going to just change that to none, and then we're going to say text align and center. So now that gives us a center align footer menu. Uh, yeah, and how I did that again is by right clicking, and if you scroll over, so when I right click, say on here, over here it's going to be just this one icon, uh, this one icon highlighted. So. I'm just going to keep moving the mouse up a little bit until I see a bigger area get covered, and that is the area that I want. Um, yeah, so that's the area that I want, and this was an option that I changed already. So we're going to Command C it, drop it over here in the navigation, CSS we have, press update, and let's see if it works. That works now, but this is looking pretty ugly because there's not really much padding here with anything. So we're going to go back up to that icon and just play around with this until it looks decent. So we can say pad padding bottom and say 20 pixels and it'll adjust. We can then do top. And then we can just keep playing around with that and adding it back into our CSS. Press update and then check it out again. And now they're looking better. But I'm not going to leave it at this. I'm going to keep fixing it up. But you don't need to watch that because you've gotten everything you need out of this video, hopefully. Uh, if it helped, then please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of tutorials on Divi and hopefully help you out a little bit with uh, making themes faster. And yeah, and on our website, we're going to have uh, a whole bunch of free layouts that you can download as well. Uh, more and more will come over time. This is pretty new right now, so they'll just keep coming out and we'll have freebies all the time. So check out our website and put your name in on the mailing list. And we'll talk, or see you next video. Take care.